Hey, good morning. Someone wrote and said, please keep making videos. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, I've been busy the last couple of days, and it's, it's a good thing because uh, I was too busy to think about my uh, tinnitus. And um, I, I noticed that it just doesn't bother me so much. Like, it's there now, but I've kind of tuned it back, I've tuned it into the background. So I don't really think about it very much. Uh, last night, uh, I was taking a language lesson online. I studied Chinese, and I found myself not able to hear the teacher that well because uh, I wasn't using headphones, just the computer, and I had the um, air purifier um, playing in the back, you know, playing in the background for my tinnitus. So I just I turned that off too, and you know, at, at first I could hear the tinnitus pretty loud, but then I just got really involved in talking to the teacher. And I, almost the whole time, I, I didn't hear it, even though it was a very quiet room. So I think I could not have a, reached that point if it weren't for me first training myself. Uh, and I definitely needed these background noises before. But more and more, I don't need these background noises all the time. Um, but I think they can still help me concentrate if I'm just by myself and I want to um, do some, you know, reading or, or something. It, it's kind of nice to have a, a noise in the background. Um, but I think this all is possible because I learned to not be anxious about the tinnitus. Um, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing to, to think about how, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to hear this sound for the rest of my life. Um, and I, I accept that, that that's, that's very possible but will I really hear it? sometimes, yeah, I'll hear it um, maybe in a way you could say I always hear it but in a way you could say I'm not thinking about it so it's not in my consciousness so it's not there so that, that's the, maybe the ultimate goal I, I have is to just not think about it anymore um, and in a, in a way, it's not there anymore. So the, so the first step is to accept it, because as you accept it, then you can uh, your your brain doesn't make it such a big big problem. Because when you don't accept it and you say it must go away, I hate it, I can't live like this. See that doesn't work, um, and it takes a just accepting what I'm telling you is probably the, one of the most important things first is to say okay if I can accept it, then actually I can make it go away. Not, not, it won't go away from the sound. The sound won't go away, but it'll go away from your thinking. And you, you'll get where you're just not thinking about it. So it's sort of not there, yeah? So, but you've got to accept the sound. Maybe it will go away one day. But you've got to accept it now. Accept it, okay. Uh, I've got this sound, but uh, you know I can walk, I can talk, I can uh, do all kinds of things, and and uh, the more I just accept it, the more my brain will will allow itself to do other things than constantly think about the sound. Yeah, so so you might say say it verbally, say it out loud. I accept the sound. I accept it. I can deal with it. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna be okay say that over and over again I accept it because when you accept it then that's the first step in moving forward from here so try your best to, to say I accept it I'm okay now I'm comfortable uh, it doesn't bother me that bad anymore I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fine and uh, I'm not, I don't even like that last statement don't say I'm gonna be fine say I am fine right now <laughs> and and you've got to train that into your brain and then it gets so much easier just to habituate to tinnitus and say, okay, uh, I'm, I'm okay now. And, and then just do, go on with your life, you know. So, okay, good, best wishes. Uh, and uh, thank you for the reminder about the videos. I'll try to keep making them, yeah.